Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will find out the major differences in ASICs and FPGAs. This is often asked in interviews of companies like Qualcomm, Intel and Nvidia. This is your friend part-time coder. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. In this video, we will go over 6 major differences. First, we will discuss about purpose. ASICs stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuits. These are designed for specific tasks and are not reconfigurable. For example, an ASIC designed for office lift cannot be configured to do any other task. FPGA stands for Field Programmable Gate Arrays. They are highly flexible and can be reconfigured to adapt to changing needs. So basically, you can program an FPGA to be used as traffic light controller or you can use it as display driver or even as temperature controller in AC. They allow for the implementation of various designs, making them a versatile option for multiple applications. Now you must be thinking, if FPGAs are so much reconfigurable and can be used in multiple applications, why do we need ASICs? We will understand the need of ASICs in upcoming points. Second is performance. ASICs offer a significant advantage in performance, as they are specifically designed for a specific task and therefore run faster. For example, an ASIC designed for the purpose of video decoding will run significantly faster than an FPGA performing the same task. Third is power consumption. FPGAs tend to use more power compared to ASICs, as they require more transistors to be active and operational. For example, we can turn off some parts of an ASIC circuit to save power, but this is not possible in FPGAs. Fourth is lifespan. The lifespan of ASICs is longer compared to FPGAs. ASICs are designed for the purpose of running 24-7 for several years, while FPGAs life is comparatively short. Fifth is time to market. In terms of time to market, FPGAs offer a quicker solution as they can be reconfigured and used for different applications. For example, let's say a lift controller had support for maximum 10 floors, but now we have a requirement of 20 floors. In this case, we can reconfigure FPGA to support 20 floors within 2 to 3 days, while an ASIC would take months to design and manufacture. So if you are in hurry, FPGA is the winner. Sixth is production cost. The production cost of ASICs is significantly higher compared to FPGAs as they are made to exact specification and require a more complex manufacturing process. On the other hand, FPGAs have a generic structure for all applications. Last question is which one to choose for a particular application. ASICs offer high performance and reliability for specific tasks. FPGAs offer flexibility and adaptability for multiple applications. If you only have weeks time to deliver your product, choose FPGA. If you have months, ASICs is the better option. If the product require a large quantity of chips, choose ASICs. If quantity is low, then choose FPGAs. That's it for today guys. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me make these informative videos. 